Hello and welcome everyone to another Power BI video. I'm Sumit from Nice Software Solutions and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a set of icons using the Unicare function and even make them change based on a condition. For this video, I've got a simple setup here. I've created a report that contains a card visual that shows you the total revenue, another card visual that shows you the last year's revenue, I've already done a video a couple of weeks back on how to do a time transformation calculation, so I'm not going to be talking about that in this video. I've also got a year slicer that filters both my card visuals. So when I select a year from this slicer, it shows the total revenue and the last year's revenue for the selected context. Now what I would like to do over here is to make these cards a little more personalized and show icons that easily visualize the growth or fall of the revenue. Furthermore, I'd like to use the traffic light concept to highlight the icons in red, green or orange depending on whether there was a growth or a fall in revenue. Now to achieve this, I'll have to create a couple of measures. The first one I'd like to do is the one that shows an icon. So I'll go over to the data view, click on the home menu and then choose new measure. I'm going to name this measure as icon and the function I'd like to use here is called Unicare. This function accepts a Unicare code and every Unicare code returns you an icon. Eventually, I'd like to put this whole function into a condition, but first let me use a single Unicare code and show you how it works. So I'll use the code 9644, which stands for a hyphen, and then I'll hit enter to save the measure. Let me put this measure into a card visual so that you can see the output. Let me format this visual a little bit. I'll turn off all the settings because I don't need them. I'll also expand the data label sections and set the text size to 25 points. And let me also resize the visual and place it on top of the total revenue card. Now let's make this icon dynamically change itself depending on the revenue growth or fall. To do this, I'll amend the DAX function and put some conditions on it. Let's look at this function closely now. It says if the last year's revenue is zero, it means that I don't have the data for last year. So in that case, it returns a hyphen. If the last year's revenue is greater than the total revenue, it means there is a revenue fall. So it returns a down arrow icon and the Unicare code for that icon is 9207. Similarly, if the last year's revenue is lower than the total revenue, it means there was a revenue growth. So it returns an up arrow icon and the Unicare code for that icon is 9206. So let's go to the report view and test it. As I make my year selection now, you can see that the icon is dynamically changing. I did mention earlier that I also want to apply some conditional formatting on this so that the icon color changes based on the same condition like a traffic light. I'm going to create another measure here that holds the color names in it. So once again, I'll go to the data view and create a new measure. I'm going to call this measure as color names. I'll use the same condition here that I used in the icon measure. The only difference is that this measure doesn't return an icon. Instead, it returns a color name. Once the measure is created, let's head back to the report view and use this measure to apply the conditional formatting on the icon measure. So I'll select the icon card, go to the format tab, expand the data label sections and then click on the FX symbol that's appearing next to the color selector. Now I'll set the format by to field value and select color names measure based on which the formatting would be applied. And then I'll hit OK. Now please note that the color names measure returns a text based on certain conditions. Power BI automatically reads that text and converts that into an actual color and applies that as formatting on the visual. So now you can see that the different icons are appearing in different colors. You can also apply similar conditional formatting on the title bar, background color, border color and so on. So let's apply this conditional formatting on the title bar as well. So grab the card visual, go to the format tab, expand the title section and then click on the FX symbol that's appearing next to the background color selector. Once again, I'll set the format by to field value and select color measures name based on which the formatting would be applied. And then hit on OK. And as you can see now, the background color of the title bar is changing as well. 
So this is how you can use a set of icons using the Unicare function and make them change based on a condition. Try this on your report today if you haven't done it already and I'm sure you're going to love it. For any further queries, please reach out to us on the contact details flashing on your screen right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.